Early morning in Taita Taveta and Haika Kimaru and her comrades wake up to their daily chores in the New Jerusalem church. Cleaning and tidying up the compound before the worshippers stream in. This has been the norm since November when a former devil worshipper decided to opt for the church and never to go back home. <laughs> Walipokuja hapa katika hiyo hali ya devil worshiper tulipokuwa tunawaombea na walipofunguka tulitamani kukaa nao karibu ili tuwasaidie kuwaombea kwa sababu kutoka kwa devil worshiper si rahisi inamhitaji Mungu mwenyewe. The rundown church is now home to a group of women who have abandoned their families to live here. The move has been criticized by the residents who have filed complaints to the police to close down the church. Complaints which have seemingly fallen on deaf ears. Hiyo mzozo tunamshukuru Mungu kwa sababu huo mzozo uliisha. Sasa hivi tunakaa kwa amani hata wa serikali wametupenda na pia wame, wameweka ulinzi tuangalie tutatizo kwa sababu uchumbe ni uchumbe wa kusaidia watu the chance population is predominantly women with men paying occasional visits joseph omondi is one of them he's been here for about a month after he was allegedly haunted by evil spirits nipo nda kulitoa nilikuwa nasikia njia nikaingia hotelini nipo ingia hotelini nika nilita chakula wakaniletea sima na mboga ni majani Walipoleta ile chakula pale baada ya dakika 5 nilikuta kama sasani ziko empty. Hakuko na chakula, sikuwa nimekula hata. All Jerusalem faithfuls have history of an encounter with evil spirits. It remains to be seen whether the church is genuine or some sort of an occult. In the meantime, they continue with their daily worship as they depend on the mercy of other faithfuls to provide them with food. A few months ago, I brought you stories of a cult in Taveta, where young girls claim to have been devil worshippers. A visit back to this place, the same belief continues. The societal problem is believed to have affected mostly women. Reporting for K24, I'm Emily Kimani in Taveta.